What is up, Nerf Nation? Today, we're gonna take this sweet Goodwill find that cost me four bucks and turn it into something truly amazing. I'm super excited to get started on this project, so I brought it along with me on a business trip, and I'm excited to go ahead and get this thing unscrewed and just start sanding on it to give me something to do while I'm out of town. So let's get started. for the fun part. Just kidding. Sandpaper. Yippee. All right, you guys. We got some uh, things cut out here. And they're shaping up nicely, but we got a little more to do, so let's get to it. guys this is the moment of truth we're gonna try something new it's definitely a bit of an experiment but that's what makes modding fun trying new things and seeing if it works or not so I've never seen anybody else do this in the nerf hobby it's common in woodworking and I've done it there but what we're doing is we're gonna use an epoxy resin to fill in all these areas and make them clear now there's another method where you could actually add tint to it, which is definitely something I, if this works, I may try in the future. But for this one, I want it clear, uh, as clear as possible anyways. There will probably be some air bubbles in there, but I think that might add some effect. And honestly, it's definitely a big experiment, so wish me luck. Let's pray to the Nerf gods that this turns out well.
time has come to install. Yep, that's right. Finally, my DRS cage is going to get a home it deserves in this gorgeous blaster. And I'm really excited. I can't wait to wire this thing up. We got some work ahead of us, though. Let's get started. Done it! I've wired this. Unfortunately, I got it backwards in terms of positive and negative, but that's okay. I'll just connect the black wire to the red and the red to the black. No big deal. But that is small and tedious. I think like 17 or 18 LEDs in here now and they are doing pretty well we are things are working so so far so good and now we have to do the other side all right we've got them wired up there are so many wires running through this thing it is insane I couldn't imagine getting this many wires to fit inside this little blaster, but somehow I did it. Let's hope it all goes back together and still works, but it does work apart. So there you go, all the LEDs are lighting up, and I can't wait to see what it looks like when we get it together. Okay guys, I am very happy how this turned out. It looks awesome in my opinion and is pretty much perfect how it is but there is something that i have that i wanted to add to this build and i may have it on there or not but i've set this up so it could be either or so uh that is that's right you know what it is a clear vector kit i'm not one to make my toys look like real guns but when they came out with a clear version I was like oh yeah 
I'm all about that life. So, definitely picked one up and have been sitting on it for a while waiting to create something deserving of this kit. And I've also wanted to do a Galaxy Stripe for a long time, but had to get my hydro dipping technique down well enough to do something like this. So let's go ahead and install this thing. All right, you guys, Stardust is complete. And man, does it look good, in my opinion. It looks really good without the vector kit and it looks really good with the vector kit. And it is awesome because I can remove this and run it that way or I can have it on and run it that way. So it is very versatile. I really love that about it. I mean, I the Hydro Dip could not have turned out better. I mean, it really is probably the best Hydro Dip I've done so far. It is almost flawless. And the LEDs inside of it are absolutely awesome, guys. I can't wait to show you a nighttime segment of this blaster. So let's go ahead and go over some of the mods that you just saw that were done. Obviously we did a full rewire of the Strife. We put in a new 21 amp Omron switch. We have the Dr. Snicka's flywheel cage with Extreme Pro 180 motors, which is pretty cool because you can see them through this polycarb here. This is a black steel props motor cover and these are his clear parts all over the blaster that glow with the LEDs. Then obviously you have this Chris Vector kit that is done by Worker and a Worker stock here that is really cool. This is also a black steel props part. It is a clear battery cover. We have a 1000 milliamp graphene 2S LiPo in there. Uh, we have a really sweet voltmeter. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it right here, but lights up right here. And this is one of my favorite parts actually of the blaster. I mean, it is just, perfect voltmeter placement is you just tap this switch right here it's just a read switch so you just press it and it turns on your on your voltmeter and you can read your volts out of there uh, this is definitely not topped off by any means but uh it is i think a great placement and then your leds turn on here although you probably cannot see them in the light obviously these were resin casted as you guys saw i poured resin in there and it turned out really really cool I really like actually how it bubbled. I knew it was going to do that. And it actually, I think, works really well with the Galaxy Hydro Dip. I mean, it is just amazing. This thing just truly sparkles under that 2K clear coat and could not be more happy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a couple shots with this thing. Those coup starts just pop out of this thing. I love the performance from this. It is absolutely perfect for HVZ, and this thing did not let me down at End War. All right, guys, I hope you're not afraid of the dark. The glow darts are already glowing, but let's go ahead and make the rest of this thing glow. There we go. And that is Stardust at night. So gorgeous. I'm really, really happy with how the LEDs turned out and how all these parts are glowing. Uh, it's pretty cool how you get a lot of different colors here. You're getting a little purple in the original sling point there and then the worker part actually turns out a little bit more blue. But these are supposedly purple LEDs. They're more of a blue purple in my opinion, but it's really cool how things look a little more purple. Some things look a little more blue, some things look a little more green because of the different types of plastic or resin, what have you. I actually do have one LED in here that charges glow darts, so we'll go ahead and fire it off and see how well that works. So those things are glowing very nicely, if I do say so myself. Pretty impressed with how this turned out and hope you enjoyed the build video and the little overview here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the description below. I hope you will join me in the next video. Please subscribe, smash that like button, and as always, peace out.